Hey everyone, this is the Pharaoh of Finance, Pharaoh Silver, back with another video. First off, I have to ask, you like the new introduction? Do I need to revise a little bit? Let me know, it kind of popped into my head while driving up I-85 back home from work the other day. And if y'all like it, I'm probably going to add it on permanently. Second, I wanted to thank you all for being patient with me over the last couple months. Just a bunch of cascading things happening in my personal life at once that I'm not going to talk about on this channel. So I felt like it was time I should reward you all with, honestly, probably the second most asked suggestion next to an updated Atlas Earth Optimal Strategy Guide, which is coming out later in the summer, hopefully, maybe early fall, depending on how I'm feeling, and that is Social Casinos. So for those of you that do not know what this is, here in the United States, we have a gambling problem. Well, in this case, the gambling problem is that most states do not allow for any gambling over games of chance whatsoever outside of the lottery, and sometimes horse racing. Sure, we all know about Las Vegas, my hometown, don't ask me about it. Most of us know about Atlantic City, Reno, and reservations also offering casinos. However, a lot of the online casinos in other countries see the United States as a sort of gold mine, but they know that straight up gambling is against the law here, even online casinos. Now, while gambling is against the law, any sort of sweepstakes can be legal. And a lot of these casinos have rebranded themselves in the U.S. to act like a sort of sweepstakes, while still offering that gambling experience through a virtual currency, either through fun little play money called gold coins or through sweeps coins, which can be turned in and traded out for real money. And in an element where you can chat with other players, the social casino is born. At least this is how I see it anyway, seeing the differences between a regular online casino against a social casino. So now you're probably asking yourself, what do social casinos got to do with beer money? Well, per the laws of social casinos, you actually have an opportunity to earn real money risk-free on these casinos. However, the ease of cashing out this free money varies from casino to casino and even state to state. And so before I go any further, I want to talk about the more numerous than normal disclaimers that I do feel like I need to put behind this before we start. First and foremost, I won't ever promote gambling your own money or playing with virtual currency any more than absolutely necessary. Now with this, I'm going to give you a heads up here. There will be cases where you will have no choice but to play a game using said virtual currency, but it is part of a strategy to get most, if not all your free beer money out. What you do with your own money is up to you, but I strongly suggest you do not gamble or play any more than absolutely necessary and whatever this strategy is. We are about getting free money and getting as much free money as we can, and it is the only reason we're talking about this today. Got it? Second, if you live in the following states, Montana, Kentucky, Alabama, Georgia, Idaho, Vermont, Connecticut, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and West Virginia, there will be a few of these that you will likely not be able to be a part of. For most of these states, it's probably only one or two. For some, it's roughly half. In the case of four more states, Idaho, Michigan, Nevada, Washington, and of course the non-states, places like Puerto Rico, Guam, and American Samoa, it is all of them. If you live in one of these four states or the territories here, you can skip this video now. Go check out the debut of the Beer Money Roundtable and all the juicy info I put out about Bridge or even look at some of the Math Behind videos I did. I have one of two really big board game videos that I know a little bit not Beer Money-ish here. Stuff on World's Worst Board Game that's already out. And I'm working on a second one, Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure, as of this recording. Uh, once it's out, I'll also put a link to that as well. Third... This is only for people living in the United States and, to a lesser extent, non-Quebec Canadians who are 21 or older. If you are under 18, verification will probably prevent you from doing this anyway, but also WWB video instead, please. You should be only cashing out in gift cards anyway at your age. Fourth, this is not financial or legal advice. And finally, I will not be giving links or referrals or anything for this video. I'm probably going to be ad-restricted as well on this, but I'm doing it for you guys. So if you could give me a like on this video and subscribe to Beer Money Engine, that would be great. If you want to support this channel, the best way you can do that is through a referral link or just this once, I'm going to ask for it, giving a super thanks. I normally don't ask for donations, but I have a feeling since I will not be getting referral links for this one, 
This is a controversial topic, and I fully expect that I'm not going to get very much in ad revenue this time around. I got to ask for it just this once. I know I might be coming off a little paranoid here about this, but I want to be able to keep doing this channel beyond this video, so I'm just crossing my T's and dotting my I's before we get started. Anyway, I've talked briefly about what a social casino is. It's a place where people get the excitement of a casino without having to actually put direct cash in. However, we're not to put in cash, but we're going to take out cash. So, how do we do that? A couple of the rules and things you'll see in common in most social casinos are as follows. First, the social casino will have two different kinds of virtual currency. Gold coins, which is just play money, you can ignore those. And sweeps coins, which is what you can turn in for real money or cryptocurrency, which you can usually throw to Coinbase or something to turn into real money. Most of the time, they'll even let you withdraw in a stable coin tied to the US dollar or a price of an ounce of gold like Tether, USDC, or Tether Gold. Now, there are three ways to get beer money from these social casinos. The first is a daily login bonus, and this is the easiest way to do it. I'm going to take steak here as an example, since um, I know for sure that steak is okay. So you just have to find where the login bonus is, and in some cases, you just want to find daily bonus. In steak, you just click on wallet here, and then we're going to go to daily bonus, and then I'm going to click claim daily bonus. And once I've claimed the daily bonus, like so, I will get one in stake cash, one stake cash, and 10,000 gold coins. Stake gets the benefit of calling their virtual currency stake cash rather than sweeps coins like Chumba Casino will do here by virtue of starting with the letter S, so lucky them. Either way, it is the sweepstakes coins that you use to trade in for real money. One stake cash equals one dollar. So yes, this is basically getting one free dollar. That is the equivalent of an hour's worth of video ads on Bridge Money with Earn Plus, or about roughly a good 10 minute task on Amazon MTurk. One click, and that's it. Now you see why a lot of people like doing this and trying to stack on 10, 15, 20 casinos at once. Now, not all casinos will give a full sweep coin, as I will call it here. Some will give more, like once in a while Zulu Casino or Fortune Coins will give out as much as two sweep coins. Some will even have a wheel like sweep slots that will award you currencies as much as two or even five sweep coins worth. Sweep slots also has a quarter sweep coin login bonus, by the way. My favorite is this social casino called Chanced, which gives you 0.1 sweep coins an hour. You could make more in a single day just clicking through a dozen or so of those social casinos and you would going through a full game on Benjamin. Also, another way here is, and I'm going to put this as 1B, by participating in free social media events to win said sweeps coins. It's basically in the same ballpark. Click something, type something, win something. The second way is via special deals that they will give out every once in a while. So we've already constituted first off that one sweep coin is equivalent to one dollar. Now sometimes you will see a deal where you will get more than that for money. I'm just showing this as an example. So for twenty dollars, they'll give you this many gold coins right here, six hundred thousand gold coins, and then well they'll add on thirty sweeps coins. And this is just an example. So yes, that is free sweeps coins. Again, part of what they got to do to make it look like a sweepstakes, basically, you cannot legally pay directly for these sweeps coins, and they will say so on the terms and conditions. Some will go ahead and pay it. I mean, it's not much different from paying for a premium membership or paying for parcels with Atlas Earth, so why not? However, this is a very risky maneuver that does not always pay out. And I will explain that catch a little later. The final way is via sending a postcard to the social casino. Hidden somewhere in the terms of service or terms and conditions is a no purchase necessary option that you probably hear a lot in the fine print of many sweepstakes as well, if it's very familiar to you. And this is honestly, at least to me, the main thing that separates the social casino from regular casinos. And at least here in the States makes them legally a sweepstakes. Usually they will ask for a postcard with a specific measurement, most of the time 4x6, sometimes 5x7. You must list a number of pieces of information about your account and in order, 
such as your full name, email address, residential address, and some kind of statement that goes along the lines of, I wish to receive sweeps coins to participate in the sweepstakes promotions offered by, well, insert name of the social casino here. By submitting this request, I hereby declare that I have read, understood, and agreed to be bound by the sweepstakes terms and conditions of the sweepstakes and the sweepstakes rules. And yes, I'm not joking. You'll probably have to write the word sweepstakes a lot, as in actually handwrite it. Once mailed, it takes as much as a few months, but if they accept it as legible, you will be rewarded with a code with five free sweeps coins. And yes, you have to handwrite it, as I said, and only one request card per envelope. However, there is no limit to the number of times you can do this. None. If you sent 100 of these to them and they accepted 100 of them, and I ain't saying they will, but if they did, you would get 500 free sweeps coins. The problem is, will they accept all of those? I normally wouldn't push my luck, and not to mention I'm already developing arthritis from all the typing I do. So I think i just stick to doing a login, and maybe here and there, I'll consider doing a postcard, depending on, you know, how my hand feels that day, but... As you all know, my left hand has not been doing the best the last uh, couple weeks. I will say if you're going to do this, I would strongly suggest doing it in one of those that will offer you the easiest cashing out, which we will go over as well in a little bit. So, free money. Does it sound too good to be true? Well, kinda. There's two catches here. The first is that all these social casinos have massive thresholds for cashing out. We're talking anywhere from 50 to 200 sweeps coins. Yeah, a 50 to $200 cash out. And you thought the $25 cash out in Benjamin was high. They might even charge a decent fee as well, uh, just for the transaction fees. And they might be having you cash out in crypto. So while you are getting the free money, it's going to take a while for you to cash out. Unless you get like really lucky and you get like, I don't know, say a deuces while video poker machine and you hit like a four deuces or something. Second, for the vast majority of these social casinos, the sweeps coins comes with a condition that you must play games using said sweeps coins with the exception of two and one of those I'm not 100% sure if they're correct or not. I can't even confirm it really because I haven't hit that uh, limit yet. But the one I know for sure is stake. The good news is there are ways that you can preserve those sweeps coins as much as you can, provided the house isn't just straight up cheating, which, okay, I'm just going to say this right here. I'm not going to accuse any of these casinos from cheating. If we assume they are fair, we have to figure out the games that offer the best cash back, though. Well, it definitely isn't going to be any of the slot machines, and it definitely will not be something like Plinko or Crash. To me, stay away from any of those games where you don't have any good idea of what the cashback ratio is. You want something a little bit more definitive and something you can actually get in your head mathematically. So I strongly suggest sticking to games that will provide you with the most cashback and are simple enough to wrap around your head for a cashback ratio and the house edge. The top pick for me is blackjack as long as you see that they pay out 3 to 2 for a blackjack. Sorry, but my former hometown, Las Vegas, has started putting all their strip casinos on this 6-5 to five blackjack, and it drives me crazy. Also, don't forget to use a strong basic strategy guide since you're not counting cards online. If that isn't available, there's also Video Poker, Jacks are Better, Deuce is Wild is also good. The Wizard of Oz has a calculator that you can put in to provide the best strategy you can use to play it and also give you the uh, payback as well, the payback odds. Um, if that seems a little bit too much and the house edge is a little bit too much, you can also try Baccarat. They also provide a decent cash back. Just put the minimum amount on Banker each time and you're good to go. A few will even have French Roulette or Single Zero Roulette, which also provides a pretty low house edge if you stick to only going for red or black. Between French and Single Zero, though, always choose French as they cut the house edge in half with some special rules usually by like second chancing a losing bet or giving you half your bet back. You're very likely not going to get all your money back after putting it in. Let's just say that right here. But one, this is the only way you're going to be able to cash out as it is. And eventually what comes out after will be eligible to be cashed out. 
I might go ahead and do some kind of like math odds with some of these table games, maybe, but I'm going to leave that for a very distant future video. Matter of fact, I plan to do another board game math behind video before I do something like that. I, matter of fact, I got that one already set up. I will, however, give you a little bit of math on this and go back to explaining why the method of buying free sweeps coins can be a bit risky here. So let's say you took the offer of $30 to buy 20 sweeps coins that I showed earlier at that point. This means your cash back rate has to be around 67%. Now, if you're forced to play only slots or you have a real bad day at one of the recommended table games that is normally more stable, say, for example, you're going to bet all 30 sweeps coins on 31 coin hands of blackjack, and you end up winning only nine of them and draw one. So you win $2 for each win and you push for $1. So nine times two plus one is a total of 19 sweeps coins earned. Well, you only get $19 back and you actually end up losing money. Granted, with optimal play, it is extremely unlikely, but with slots, it definitely is more so if you don't win a big enough jackpot. And the cash back ratios for them are just straight up unknown, mostly to the dev's discretion. And it's those likely low cash back ratios and even the risk of playing a table game is why I don't recommend the method of buying your free sweeps coins, basically. Or buying any bonus ones. Because remember, you still have to play them out. So of the couple dozen social casinos that you might find here, there are some that are better than others. But you notice I show one here a little more than the rest because of what they offer, and that is steak. Mainly because, as I said earlier, it's the only one I see that I can confirm that offer you to just simply cash out your free sweeps coins whenever, which is great. Um, I do think there's a second one. It's called Chanced, but I cannot confirm it at the time of this recording. They also provide easy login bonuses, and in Stake's case, if you're using free cash, you can take your earnings from free cash and get a 30% bonus in stake money, which will allow you to break the $50 threshold in stake a lot easier than all the others. Just be sure to cash out in the crypto of your choice, or if you're like me and want the cash, use USDC coin and send it to a Coinbase or Crypto.com account. And if you are looking for cash, the USDC coin fee is only 80 cents. However, no, I will not be adding this to my beer money portfolio, especially since not everyone can use this as again, there are four states with sizable populations where they can't go to these at all. And that is pretty much it. With a little bit of patience, you'll find these social casinos a strong part of your beer money portfolio. And over time, you'll learn to separate the good ones from the not so good ones from the ones that will just straight up refuse to cash you out. I've just given a general overview. And yes, I will have a future video over the math behind a lot of the social casino games that you see in the distant future. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment what you think about social casinos, and don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. Again, no referral links for this video, so anything to help the algorithm and the channel will be appreciated. I will see you all next time. This is the Pharaoh of Finance, Pharaoh Silver, signing off. Oh, by the way, did you like the opening and closing? Let me know. I might start doing this a little bit more like, you know, a little bit more distinguished like this. Just let me know. Um, and also, one more thing. Please don't gamble. All right. Bye, everyone.